cracking where we have large alkanes and we want to break them down into smaller alkanes and we get alkenes as well you cannot just do cracking and get smaller alkanes you always get alkenes as well we use this apparatus in a school laboratory so I'm going to set it up with you so you understand it and I'll show you a diagram on the board in a minute so what we do is we get a test tube and we want to have some large alkanes and we've got liquid paraffin here liquid paraffin and that is a mixture it's a mixture of larger alkanes which we're going to break down into smaller alkanes and when you use it it's a bit like oil it's kind of viscous because if the alkanes are large they tangle and I put it into a test tube a boiling tube perhaps a bit, put a bit more in there put it into a boiling tube that's got some wool ceramic wool ceramic wool won't it won't burn because I'm going to heat it but it will keep it will keep the paraffin the liquid paraffin keep it at the end and if I boil it I can make it move that way now I'm going to do that but I need to get a catalyst a zeolite catalyst and this is what we use porous pot porous pot is uh, you terracotta plant pots you know those plant pots that you buy from the garden center the plant pots that are made of ceramic material not plastic then that is what we're going to use because the good thing about plant pots and porous pot is you've got tiny tiny little holes in there I don't know if you can see the tiny holes those tiny holes that are going to help me do this cracking so I'm going to put some pieces of plant pot in there and then set the apparatus up like this um, I'm going to put some water in here that's water from the tap this water is going to cool this test tube down that test tube, I'm going to lower it in a minute into that. But I need you to understand here I've got a trough of water. And I'm going to put this delivery tube in there. And the bubbles, the bubbles of gas that come off that, I'm going to try and collect and see what they are. So I'm almost ready. I'm going to lower this down. Lower it down. Like that. Bunsen burner. And I'm going to heat this end. I need some matches. Matches. This will work. We have this. Right, it works match right so the key to this is to get the porous pot really really hot porous pot really really hot might even get two buttons and burners on it and when it's hot then I'm hoping that you have this apparatus see that that there is ceramic wool in liquid paraffin that liquid paraffin has got the larger alkanes in it then the tube from that leads to this cold water cooling this middle tube down 
And we're hoping in that middle tube to collect some smaller alkanes. And then the alkenes, which are a different homologous series, the alkenes will be in gaseous. I'm hoping to collect at the end in a test tube. And the overall reaction is that one. See that on the board? Overall reaction is large alkanes being turned into smaller alkanes. Perhaps if I show you like that. I will sp spend a minute getting your mind around that is what we're trying to do. And that is the apparatus that we're using to do it. Well, back to the experiment. I'm hoping that porous pot is hot now. So, if the porous pot is hot, I can warm up the liquid paraffin a bit. And basically, when the molecules of liquid paraffin go into the holes of your porous pot, the heat, the hot rock, transfers heat to the molecules the molecules literally shake themselves apart. As the molecules shake themselves apart, then you get smaller molecules. And the smaller molecules are either alkanes, small alkanes, or they're alkenes. And if you want more cracking, you do more heating of your ceramic wool. I'm heating the ceramic wool now. But I need to keep my stones hot. I need to keep my porous pot hot and heat the ceramic wool to get the liquid paraffin going over and, and I hope you can see here we've got some bubbles coming out I'm hoping that we'll get some smaller alkanes here which we'll hopefully see as a liquid at the end we'll dismantle the apparatus hopefully catch that as a liquid I'm just going to collect these bubbles that are coming up now the way to collect bubbles in this apparatus is to fill a tube with water and then allow the bubbles, do you see that? The bubbles are coming up. The bubbles are coming up into it. Like that. I've just got the, the mouth of the delivery tube into my boiling tube so that any gas collected pushes out the water and when I've got a test tube full I can then test it with this bromine water now one thing at GCSE you need to know is that bromine water will be decolorized by alkenes. Let me get a beaker. So this is bromine water, should be orange. See that? Orange bromine water. This here, I've let some gas escape. So I'm just going to fill it up again. This tube, I'm going to check by pouring some of this in there. Put my and shaking it. See, the orange colour has gone. Let me come over to the camera. That, that was the bromine water, and that is the test tube shook up. So with the test tube shook up, with the test tube shook up, 
there's no bromine colour. And that's because alkenes react with bromine. They react with bromine and that's why the colour goes. That bromine being decolorized is the test. Test for unsaturated compounds. And alkenes are unsaturated compounds. And you can can you see here? Here I am getting some mistiness and I'm hoping that will cool down and give me some liquid droplets of smaller alkanes. And if you ever do this in school, you have to be careful not to get sucked back down this delivery tube. If you get sucked back down the, the delivery tube, you do not want sucked back going into a very hot tube like that. Um, that's a big safety point, big safety point. Anyway, we haven't got sucked back because I've disconnected it from the end. And I can now try and dismantle this apparatus. Let's take this up. You see here, this test tube, the middle test tube. Can you see the little bit of suck back going on there? Suck back of smaller alkanes. So to stop any potential safety issue arising, I'm just going to disconnect, disconnect there. And that is your smaller alkanes. So smaller alkanes, which I've got from paraffin, liquid paraffin, are here. The gas was alkenes. And to be fair, the separation isn't great, but definitely I've got smaller alkanes. And I might have some alkenes in here too. But it doesn't matter. The important thing is to know that you've got smaller alkanes and some alkenes. And that's the idea of cracking because the large fractions are not in as much demand as the smaller fractions. So if we get the larger fractions, convert them by cracking to smaller fractions, then we can satisfy world demand. And that's the idea of cracking. It follows on from fractional distillation of crude oil. You do cracking to satisfy world demand. Okay, let's stop there.